Bonjour, bienvenue à la deuxième semaine de cours de français sur French 102 Online à Vitec. Cette semaine, nous allons faire une session sur les vêtements et les accessoires et aussi euh, quatre leçons de grammaire. Voici le site sur Blackboard avec les exercices sur Central. So, as you can see, for additional cultural information or more grammar tutorial, I have added YouTube links where I thought that something could be added and it's not present in the textbook. And all these added information you can find in the Blackboard site, along with the list of assignments that you'll be doing in Central. Um, so th there was no grammar tutorial for the uh, demonstrative adjective in Central. So set set. So it's in Blackboard, also quel, and the uses of quel et quel, masculine and feminine form. We're going to cover the IR verbs, two kinds of them, and I will take you over to the central website in a minute. This week, you'll also be doing the semester kickoff interview on Blackboard Collaborate. I'll be available um, a couple of times throughout the week for you to call in on Blackboard Collaborate. So you'll be using the Fr French 102 open room on Blackboard Collaborate. You need to test out your webcam, microphone, speakers before you actually call in. And if you cannot call in at the times when I'm available, you will need to be uh, recording the same assignment in Blackboard Collaborate. So this is the alternate recording for students who cannot meet with me. You'll have to um, record the 15 information points in your um, little presentation on Blackboard Collaborate. If you're recording by yourself, you're going to be recording in a session that has your name on it. So when you go over to Tools in Blackboard, Communication and Tools, pick the Blackboard Collaborate tool here with the two um, lines in the purple circle. And this will take you to the Blackboard Collaborate page that has your name on the session. If you're recording by yourself, click on your name. If you're having a live interview with me, then um, click on the French 102 open room. I'm going to move to what we will be covering in the central textbook for this week. So vocabulary interactive is pretty self-explanatory. We're learning some vocabulary about clothing. Qu'est-ce qu'il porte? And you need to make sure that the little sound icons work for every vocabulary page. You see next to number one, c'est l'été, Sylvie et Martin sont à Nice, au bord de la mer. If you don't see the little sound icons, that means you need to change your browser, maybe use uh, a newer version of Firefox or use Google Chrome. Um, it, it's a problem with the browser usually if the uh, sound doesn't work in the textbook. So uh, I will let you do this on your own. And make sure you read the note on the Galerie Lafayette and um, watch the video in Blackboard on the Galerie Lafayette. Voilà les expressions de vocabulaire pour les activités. Tu fais quelle taille? Vous faites quelle taille? Is what size do you wear? Je fais du 40. Ou je fais du 44. Tu fais quelle pointure? Ou vous faites quelle pointure? Is what size do you wear but only for shoes? Je fais du 38. Ça me va bien ou ça me va mal? Oh, um, ça te va très bien ou ça vous va très bien ou ça vous va très mal. La coupe is how clothes fits. So, une coupe ample is loose fitting. Une coupe serrée, une coupe serrée is, is fits tightly. Pour les couleurs, vert is green. So, vert clair is light green. Vert foncé is dark green. Multicolore, rayé. And for the style, on peut dire le style à carreau, à col roulé, à talon haut, à manche courte, à pattes d'éléphant ou à poids. À poids is with little dots. Ça, c'est pour le vocabulaire interactif. Voici la section de grammaire interactive. Grammaire interactive is divided into four subsections. Qu'est-ce que tu portes ce soir? The first subsection is on the demonstrative adjective ce, cet, et c'est. So, 
it means this. They all mean this. But in French, we have four ways of saying this, depending on whether the object that you're showing or referring to is masculine or feminine or masculine plural or feminine plural. Voici par exemple, ce soir. If you say, qu'est-ce que tu fais ce soir? Is what are you doing tonight or this night? Ce soir. Ce soir, c'est le pluriel. You can't hear much difference in the pronunciation. Ce soir, ce soir. So it's just a more open E. When you have a masculine, so it should be ce for homme and acteur that are masculine, but homme technically starts with a vowel because the H is silent. So does acteur. So the ce becomes set. But it's the masculine set. It's just C E T. The plural remain, remains C. Ces hommes, ces acteurs. Because C ends with a consonant, you don't have the vowel clash that there is be between the ce and the homme, or the ce and acteur. So in a plural form, you can leave it C. Ces hommes, ces acteurs. Et au féminin, c'est cette. Cette semaine, cet ami. This week, this friend. And in the plural, c'est. Ces semaines, ces amis. So the masculine set and the feminine set have the same pronunciation. Ce, set, set, c'est. And uh, you should be doing the mise en pratique in a couple ones of the assignments here. Section 2, on sort ce soir. On sort ce soir, c'est sur les verbes en IR, comme sortir. So, um, in chapter 3, chapter 5, you've learned about the ER verbs, like étudier, RE verbs, like prendre. And now we're looking at IR verbs, um, like dormir. So, those are the three main groups of verbs in French. ER, RE, et IR. Dormir and some IR verbs are peculiar because they have two stems, meaning two roots for the verb. One for the singular, one for the plural. For example, dormir is to sleep. Je dors. Tu dors. Il dort. The stem here, the root, is D-O-R. But in the plural, nous dormons. Vous dormez. Ils dorment. The root or the stem is D-O-R-M. So it's a different stem than it is for the singular forms. Je dors, tu dors, il dort. Nous dormons, vous dormez, ils dorment. Et dans l'exemple, c'est Tu dors bien la nuit? Do you sleep well at night? Dormez-vous chez nous ce soir? Are you sleeping at our house tonight? And there are several different verbs that act like dormir or conjugate like dormir. And here is a couple. Mentir is to lie. Partir, to leave. Sentir, to smell. Servir, to serve. Et sortir de quelque chose is to get out of something or to take something out or to come out of something. Donc par exemple, elle sort un livre de son sac. Ils sortent de la maison. Je sors avec mes amis. And that would be for uh, the two stem verbs, two stem IR verbs. Here is a little cultural note uh, that goes with the verb sentir, to smell. It's about Grasse, the city of Grasse, in the south of France, where all the lavender fields are cultivated to be used for perfume and uh, concentrated smells. And in Blackboard, you'll find a little video on um, Grasse, the city of Grasse, and the making of French perfumes. It's all in French and it's pretty fast, but you should watch it just to see if, how much you can understand. You'll be amazed to see how much you can understand. This is for dormir and verbs like dormir. I'm going to skip section 3. We'll come back to it in a minute. Let's look at section 4. Comment choisir le bon cadeau? And those are IR verbs like choisir, which are different from dormir. These verbs also have two stems, one for singular and one for plural. But the plural stem always has an IS. 
I-S-S. So, finir is to finish. Je finis. I finish. Tu finis is you finish. Il finit. He finishes. Nous finissons. We finish. Vous finissez. You guys or you respectfully. You finish. Il finit. They finish. So you see that F-E-N is the singular root and F-E-N-E-S-S -S is the plural root. Now they wrote it in red, but it doesn't really matter whether you count it as a root or part of the ending. Um, in the end, it, it's the same. The plural form has I-S-S -S added before the ending or at the end of the root. There are a few verbs that behave like um, finir, choisir is to choose, réfléchir à quelque chose is to think about something, réussir à quelque chose is to succeed at something. Voilà, ce sont pour les verbes en IR. You should go to the grammar tutorial tab, which is the sixth tab on the very top in central, and you will find a grammar tutorial that you can watch or should watch. For RE verbs, this will be just um, a review of RE verbs that in chapter 5. And then the two types of IR verbs, like dormir and finir, that are in this um, chapter 6. Now I'm going to go back to the third section of the Grammaire Interactive. Quel magasin préfères-tu? Is about the interrogative word quel. Quel is which. So in French, you ask a question, you can say qu'est-ce que, that means what. So qu'est-ce que tu manges is what are you eating. If you're asking the question starting with quel, you're meaning which one of several different options or set of possibilities. So for example, here's the contrast. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes porter en été? What do you like to wear in the summer? But you would say, Quel costume est-ce que tu vas porter? Which one of the two suits are you going to wear? So, quel costume implies that there is a couple ones that you have to choose among. Just like the ce set set that we just saw in uh, section one, quel has four forms. So, masculin singulier is quel, quel costume. Masculin pluriel is quel, quel manteau. Féminin singulier, quel, quel robe. Masculin singulier, oh pardon, et c'est féminin pluriel, it's a typo in the book here. The last line is féminin pluriel, quelle chaussure, so which shoes. Une chaussure is féminin, uh, des chaussures is féminin plural. So, you heard me read quel, 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 quel. There is no difference of pronunciation between the four quel. Only in writing, you have to um, adapt to uh, the object that you're asking which about. If it's masculine singular, feminine singular, or masculine plural, or feminine plural. And um, here are a couple examples. You can uh, add the preposition de, or en, ou avec, in front of quel, to modify the question. So, de quel pays parlez-vous? What country are you talking about? You notice that in English, all the prepositions at the very end. About is at the end of the sentence. And in French, it's the opposite. We put the about in the very beginning. So basically, in French, de quel pays parlez-vous? It means about which country are you talking? Same thing for the next question. En quelle saison voyagez-vous? What or which season do you travel in? In French, is is in which season do you travel? Avec quels amis sortez-vous? With which friends do you go out? Or which friends do you go out with? Or what friends do you go out with? Um, quel can be followed by être if you're asking a question. So, quelle est ta saison préférée? What is your favorite season? Quels sont tes cours préférés? What are your favorite colors? Uh, courses, pardon. Uh, cours préférés. So, les cours is masculine plural. Quel needs to be masculine plural. 
la saison est féminine singular et ça fait qu'elle soit écrite en féminine singular form. Voilà, c'est tout pour la grammaire du chapitre 6 et le vocabulaire du chapitre 6. Passez une excellente semaine et n'hésitez pas à me contacter par email ou par téléphone si vous avez des questions. Merci, à bientôt.